William H. Johnson. Johnson was an African American artist during the Harlem Renaissance. Johnson was born on March 18, 1901, in a small town in Florence, South Carolina. His parents were Henry Johnson and Alice Moon. He's the oldest sibling out of five kids who are Lacey, Lucy, James, and Lillian. As a child, he copied cartoons and realized his dream was to become an artist, but then he thought it was unrealistic. Even though he thought his dreams were unrealistic, he pursued his dreams anyways. Johnson then left his hometown for New York to attend the National Academy of Design in 1918. In New York, in order to support himself, he had multiple jobs such as being a cook, a bellboy, and a steve door, which is unloading and loading cargo on ships. While he was attending the National Academy of Design, he had a mentor named Charles Webster Hawthorne. Hawthorne encouraged Johnson to go to Paris and help raise money due to his financial situation. In the summer between 1923 to 1926, he studied at the Cape Cod School of the Arts in Provincetown, Massachusetts. Later in 1926, Johnson went to Paris and became more exposed to different styles of art. The first African-American artist he met was Henry Oswald Tanner, who influenced him to paint more landscapes. Johnson worked with different styles and materials of art, such as oil paint, watercolor, pen and ink, and serigraphy. Since paper wasn't as available as today, he painted or drew on anything he could find, such as burlap, plywood, and newspaper. During his stay in Paris, he worked as a custodian to make extra money, and his style turned mainly into folk art, which is a 2D painting with different types of shapes. Johnson then met his future wife named Holtra Craig through her brother-in-law, Christophe Vol. Throughout the years, he held exhibits in France, Germany, Luxembourg, and Belgium. He also earned a gold medal from the Harman Foundation for Excellence in Fine Art and stayed in Denmark with his wife. Due to the threat of Nazism from World War II, Johnson then returned to the U.S. with his wife in 1938. Later on, he joined a program called the Rooks Progress Administration also known as WPA. During his stay in New York, Johnson and his wife weren't very welcomed because they were an interracial couple, but in the art community in Harlem, they were welcomed. Johnson then became an art teacher at the Harlem Community Center, and during his spare time, he worked on a couple of art pieces. During the Harlem Renaissance, Johnson often drew African Americans to portray their life in Harlem. Most of his artwork depicted as African Americans being segregated and comments on the treatment of African Americans during World War II. Johnson's artwork was showcased in an exhibition in the early 1940s at Al Marine Galleries, which gained a lot of attention from spectators. Later on, Johnson's studio was set on fire taking away his artworks and materials he needed. In 1944, his wife died due to breast cancer. After his wife's death, Johnson then spiraled down at that point. He became mentally and physically unstable. Even though he was unstable, Johnson still created more artworks like his Fighter for Freedom series. Later on, Johnson went back to his hometown of Florence, South Carolina, then back to Denmark in 1946. Due to his growing mental illness, he was hospitalized in Norway, which was diagnosed as syphilis. The hospital then transferred Johnson to another hospital called the Central Islip State Hospital on Long Island, New York. Johnson then spent the next 23 years in a hospital and died there on April 13, 1970. Even though he died, his artworks were still popular and were well known, such as the self-portrait with the pipe made in 1937 and is still on display at the Smithsonian American Art Museum. I Baptized Thee shows American experiences with religion and the preacher and the congregants stand in the creek. This also symbolized crossing into new life. Flower the teacher. Men in the vest.
still life chair and flower. Let my people free. Danish roadside. Harlem street scene with full moon. Our class three men. Harbor under the midnight sun is an example of a face when Johnson decided to express his African American cultural heritages and learn what he learned in Europe. Lift of thy voice and sing is an artwork mixed with African folklore and political commentary. Jitterbug 2, Jitterbug 3, Jitterbug 4. Johnson's Jitterbug series show a dance craze from the Harlem Renaissance that was popular before World War II. Other paintings are Blossoming Trees, Fruit Trees, and Mountains, Portrait of Ilya Balotuski, Children Dance, Nat Turner Cotton Pickers Women in Pink Blouse and Yellow Chair Knitting Party Classroom Scene The famous painting that Johnson made was a chain gang, which symbolizes the brutal work of the chain gang. Snow Peaks and Blossoms Off to the Market Operation Room Nehru and Gandhi and many more. Most of these paintings were gifts of the Harmon Foundation. During the Harlem Renaissance, Johnson played an integral role in creating acceptance and opportunities for other African-American artists. 